I'll just bring back council on next, next council meeting. Okay. Um, I see that the uh, chamber has left, but we had a 4th of July meeting um, with the chamber. Um, with, uh, Mr. Malkin and uh, Mr. Rotman were present. Do you remember what the next date of our 4th of July is? No. Okay. What's that? Okay. Um, during that discussion with them, they had some really great ideas. Um, right now, we have a letter going out to the businesses asking for donations of, of monetary types so we can purchase fireworks and we can get the music and we can do all the things that we want to do. Uh, one of the ideas that came up was to build a pavilion at the pond. A pavilion that would allow us to have a sh an open shelter, be a concrete slab, um, probably a metal roof, okay, and it would be open on the sides. It would have electric, it would have a sound system speakers that any uh, body could plug into if we had an event, uh, we could rent it out. Uh, if someone has a, a wedding, they could use that, or a, or a family reunion, they could use it for that. It could serve a lot of purposes. Um, Christmas, you can decorate it with the lights, you can have the parade end down there, you can have a street dance on the concrete there. Uh, it's just something, something that, you know, that would be uh, uh, of a lot of value to the city. And we're trying to get it all done through donations. So hopefully it won't cost the city um, anything. We're still researching the donation part. This is just uh, informational. Um, but I, I just wanted to get the council's feeling on having a pavilion down at the bottom. Uh, this is something that the council would like to pursue. Uh, if so, then you know, we could move forward on it. Um, what does council think? Um, we thought it was a pretty good idea at the 4th of July meeting that it would be like a permanent baby barn type structure. That's right. And um, we could use it, it could be used as a picnic area in the rain, whatever. Okay. And, uh, and it would be honoring one of our the former chiefs. Thank you. If, if we get a donation, we, we could, uh, a, a, a substantial donation, we might be able to. Uh, if it's substantial enough, we can name it after somebody. Um, I've talked to the gentleman. I've presented it to him. Okay. Uh, I don't think he wants to be known right now. Okay. Uh, he's thinking about it. Okay. So these are these are you know things. Uh, you're also looking at maybe getting some concrete. Yeah. Concrete. It's going to take about yeah. three truckloads of concrete to to perform the mm -hmm. form if we were to do that. Mr. Um, Carter, Sandy, how, how do you feel about that? What do you think about a pavilion? Something that people can utilize down there, picnics or you know, different, different events. I really think, though, you have to be careful on, on the impact that it will have on the pond. You need to make sure it's not blocking any views. So, so site selection, if we were to pursue this, would be very critical. Since you're asking, I'll give you my opinion. I you and I have had many discussions, and I know uh, in some of you on council a long time ago, uh, we had some great plans drawn up and pricing on playground equipment and the, the pavilion. I think it's a great asset to the city. It's probably the smartest thing that happened in a long time. Um, but I also think it's critical that we take a step back, don't try to rush into anything, uh, and get someone who is a lot smarter than anybody sitting up here on how to plan um, a nice area around the pond because you and I've talked, we've got to have some parking because we've got to keep people off the, you know, the grass and stuff. I mean, they just make mud holes because, you know, it's, you keep driving on it, it's gonna wear it down. And I would like to see us invest in having someone submit a plan to us and we, there may be like, grants or something that would help us if that's a cost for that to say this would be a great way to lay that out because once we start we're into it and we know that the road's coming through and we know that some of that along main street is going to they say they're not going to take much of it or any of it but we need to put some parking along there so people pull their cars in there and get down from lay 
like to fish. And I think we need to work in, on this end too, uh, because depending on where people, if they're using the pavilion or whatever. So I would like for us to just really find somebody that's good at that, or if that's their job, or if we know an architect that would donate their time and lay some plans out for us to look at so that we can make it really, really so nice. So for an uh, landscape architect? Yeah, maybe, maybe that's what it is, I don't know. But they could recommend to us what type of materials to use, you know, to make it look the prettiest and the most welcoming and that would last the longest so that we're not throwing money in a boat pit. And that's what my son's going to school for. Well, maybe he'd like to donate we his might time. I mean, there must be somebody. <laughs> They have experts up there in that deep. Mm -hmm. I, I just think, think might pick their brain. You know, I just think that we're not experts at it, and why not try to get somebody that is expert so we can really make it nice? And maybe we can't afford to do everything they would recommend now, but we could do it in phases. You know, maybe we do one thing now this year, next year, maybe we could, you know, do the parking or, or something, but have a plan to go. By. Maybe I can talk to my son, and maybe even talk to one of his professors, and maybe they'll make it all about project. That project. That's right. That, um, do. Mm -hmm. I think that would be. He, he has to do an internship. And we also know somebody else who's a, a world renowned landscape mm -hmm. architect. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But they did some work in Winston Salem. So you see, that would allow the council yeah. to kind of plan budget wise and that sort of thing. Where we can, this is something we want to do something with next year. So but we want to make sure we set that much aside so that we can progressively try to get it where it needs to be. But the parking is an issue. It's got to be addressed. It is an issue. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. Okay. I'll uh, touch base with uh, my son and see if he has any uh, ideas or suggestions. And uh, so I think we're all in favor of, of making the uh, pond a, a place that the citizens can enjoy. And, um, mm -hmm. We'll enhance our, our Independence Day uh, celebrations and. Um, I guess I can. I guess I can kind of share this now. Um, you know, there's there's been a lot of.